probably turn it off. It's gonna get hot. Okay. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I wanted to share with you guys my pregnancy update. And I actually thought it would be better to just put put first and second trimester together. Well, first of all, because I mean, I, the first one passed already and I'm already entering my third trimester, so I'm kind of like behind. But also because there wasn't much to say about each one. I guess I got lucky. Um, so yeah, I'll just start off by starting with the first trimester and I didn't really have any like sickness or morning sickness at all. I did get very nauseous mostly every day, but it wasn't like extreme I guess some days were a little bit more harder just because everything like smelled bad or just made me it, it wasn't helping um, I remember going from my first job to my second job uh, on the way on the uber I got really nauseous like twice and I thought I was gonna throw up in the car and I was just like that's gonna be embarrassing so I didn't want to do that but I never really threw up at all, I, not even once. So I got really lucky because I was worried about that. Once I found out I was pregnant, I was just like, oh man, I'm gonna get morning sickness and all that. But I kind of just try to keep, tell myself it's all in my head in a way. I don't know if that helped or, or if I just got lucky. Um, but I kind of just try to tell myself like, you're fine, you're not gonna throw up, you're fine. And it's like when especially when I was feeling nauseous I didn't want to eat anything most of it um in the first trimester all I wanted to eat was basically fruits and vegetables which is good but um I wanted them with limon and tahin so that's like lemon and that salt chili thing I don't know what what else would you call that in English um, but it's basically like dried hot peppers or something and then with salt and lemon dried out in the powder that you put on the fruits and so I wanted that with chamoy and like I just ate anything um cucumbers carrots watermelon mango coconut like anything I could put that on I was eating and I really liked um anything that I could put lemon and chile on it basically um so that's all I really wanted during the first trimester and it made me feel good like my stomach was a little bit more calm and so that helped with the nauseous mornings and all day type of thing um and that was pretty much it my belly didn't really show in the first trimester at all um i don't think i had like crazy mood swings or anything like that i asked my husband he's like no nah, you're pretty normal so I mean I didn't kick him out or go crazy on him either so I think that's all a good sign um anything else from first trimester I am taking my prenatal vitamins I have two of them um, and I recently like a few weeks ago went to get them refilled because I ran out out of them one of them I think I ran out faster than the other I don't know why I don't know if I dropped it I think I dropped it once I, I'm hoping I didn't even drop too many but um I'm also taking those and I'm walking a lot what else that's basically it I mean I didn't really worry about what I was eating <sighs> um they did tell me in the doctors um in the beginning they ask you how much you weighed before you were pregnant and I gave them a number I was like I told them like one Ah, shoot I forgot what I told them I told them a number that I assumed I think I, I told them 168 or 160 I don't know around that that range that's what I told them because I really didn't know how much I weighed before I don't weigh myself like every I don't know month or something like I don't weigh myself I just I just look at myself and I'm like okay you need to work out or yeah you're fine so I didn't really weigh myself so when they asked me I just kind of gave them a number from the like I guess that number was from when I weighed myself like a while back and that's the last number I knew so I kind of just threw that number out there and they're basing it off of that number and how much I weigh now and so I started off I think a bit overweight and I was just like well I guess but I actually didn't really stress about my eating I think I wasn't eating for two like a lot of people tell you you're eating for two but not really it's just a few extra calories 
So what I did is I kept eating for myself normally and then if I was really hungry then I would eat a little bit more but if I wasn't feeling any any more hungry or whatever um, I wasn't eating like a bunch of extra stuff on the side except this baby she really I don't know she made me crave a lot of chips and I, I eat chips before but like now I wanted to eat them almost every day and I know that was bad so I was just like oh my goodness I gotta know where I want more hot Cheetos with like lemon on them <laughs> I wanted lemon and chili all the time this is so weird um, but that's all I wanted to eat so I wanted chips fruit and cucumbers and yeah it's a weird combination besides that though I didn't have any other weird cravings um, that was pretty much for the first trimester for my second trimester I did find out the gender of the baby which I already shared with you guys but in case you guys are are barely new to my channel or you guys aren't aware um I am having a baby girl and so then I found that out somewhere in be I don't know in the beginning of my second trimester and um, they told us there was gonna be a girl so I did that whole gender reveal and um, I did start feeling her move in the second trimester because in the first trimester I didn't feel anything I didn't feel any different um my clothes for the for the most part still fit so i was just kind of like well i'm pregnant but i don't feel pregnant i guess i don't know i'm kind of weird I, some people are like very i don't know i didn't feel any different i was like this is weird like am i still pregnant and so then the second trimester i, I knew i was gonna start feeling her move I just didn't know what to expect and the first time I felt it I actually wasn't sure if that was her or not I was like was that the baby moving I was like oh my goodness it felt like a little I don't know like a little bubble like like a little bloop inside and I was just like I was like okay I'm not hungry and I wasn't moving I was laying down in bed so um so I assumed that was the baby I was like I think that was baby and then we were going back going to sleep already and I told my husband I was like oh my goodness I think I felt the baby move and he was like really and then he he, he kind of puts his head in my stomach and he, he wanted to feel it too he was all there in my stomach and then I remember the baby there like kicked or elbowed him and he got so excited so I was just like oh my gosh like it was really exciting um and then after that it wasn't like an everyday thing but now entering my third trimester it's it's a whole different story like she moves all the time now um but I am having a, a girl so she look I don't know it looks like she's gonna be small because my belly ain't that big compared to other mamas out there that are at 28 weeks so I'll show you guys right now what my belly looks like I do have two like stretch marks like I don't, I don't know I don't have that many stretch marks yet I don't know if I'm gonna get a lot more if I get a lot bigger out of nowhere because I know she's gonna start gaining weight like crazy um, per week and so I'm, I'm putting coconut oil on my stomach because it does get itchy once in a while and I know it's bad to scratch it or whatever and it also helps with the stretching of my skin so I am putting that on but I mean I know I'm gonna get stretch marks so whatever um, but I'll show you guys right now what my belly is looking like so far um let's see anything else that happened during the second trimester my cravings are pretty much gone for the most part um I'm pretty normal and yeah oh except I know towards the I don't know beginning 
Um, my gums would bleed a lot when I would brush my teeth, and I don't know if that's just because I'm pregnant or what the heck went on, but my teeth, my gums bleed like crazy. Um, it kind of settled down already, but it was bleeding, and I was just like, what? I'm like, that's kind of weird. Um, besides that, the whole peeing, getting up at night, that started really early on from, for me, um, to the beginning, and I can hold my pee, I don't know if this TMI, but I can hold my pee for a long time before I was pregnant, like I can hold it for hours and go hours without going to the restroom, but once I got pregnant, within the few weeks that I was like, I don't know, I don't know, 16, 15, I was already starting to go to the restroom a lot, and I was just like, that's a lot more than, a lot more often than I normally used to. So I knew that once she got bigger, I was like, oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to go all the time. And I basically do because I feel like she just squishes my my bladder. I'm like, oh my goodness. And I know I don't have to pee sometimes because I'm like, I just went. So it's not literally like I have to. It's just the, the weird sensation of having to go, I guess, because she's pressing on it. I don't know. And sometimes she just moves weirdly. So she does kick and for me I don't know I go out every single time because she gets me out of nowhere and she just kicks a lot I don't know if she's kicking or elbowing me Ooh, that's my husband um oh he wants me to go downtown hold on okay so I'm gonna go shopping right now so I gotta wrap this up um so basically that is basically all that stuff i haven't bought anything for the baby so i am gonna start um doing more baby related videos i have a pregnancy haul coming up soon um i'm like wearing these leggings and stuff so i'm gonna organize that for another video and but besides that, i haven't really bought anything for the baby which is kind of scary because we just have a few more months and then she's here so we're not ready so we really got to get that going, go shopping, buy the crib and everything. So that's really going to be exciting and I'll show you guys the setup and everything. I am going to be using cloth diapers. So that's a whole other series that I also want to do for you guys. Because I don't know that many people that do this. But I, I fell in love with it since I've done my research and I've seen YouTube videos. So I'm pretty confident that I, I have it down. I just need to practice. Once I have them, I have some... Um, cloth diaper covers but that's mainly it I need to get everything else so I, I don't know I'm excited and yeah I'll let you guys know how my third trimester goes once we're more towards the end and yeah I'll see you guys on my next video bye